these soldiers. So I have no hair. This happened. Uh, it's very Peter Pan meets soccer mom. It's very Midsummer Night's Dream, but on the last day of tour. It's very 50s page boy who dreams of being a bisexual bob. Also, I have a ring light on right now, so it looks deceptively bright in here when it is in fact quite late at night and very dark outside. I have close to no hair and I'm sitting on the floor outside my closet next to a pile of dirty laundry. So 2020 is going great for me so far. So friends, I have brought you here today because I am now in a haze of decluttering and New Year's resolutionifying everything in my house. So I'm like, I need to get rid of it. I just get rid of it all, take it away. And one of the things that I really need to organize and go through are my lipsticks. I just look at this and I'm like, one person who is not a makeup artist does not need this much lipstick. And because I actually do have to go through this, might as well film it. So here we are. And here we go. I really hope nothing spontaneously uncapped in that moment. Oh yeah, and I have this other little pouch. That's like my travel pouch. That for some reason also is full of lipsticks. Oh, what was that? Better find out what this goes to. Right, so we're gonna start with my little a travel case here. It says I like big books and I cannot lie. So I carry this with me all the time, you know, to remind me my roots, where I came from, my true passions in life. First thing in there is lip balm, which we're keeping. The second thing in there is probably my favorite lipstick for a very long time. This is the Urban Decay Vice lipstick in the color Oblivion. I hold that like so far. Well, can you see it? Do you see it? I'm also not going to be trying all of these on my face because I feel like my lips would fall off. So here's that color. Eh, you know what? Fuck it. We'll put this one on. I like this one because it's like neutral, but a little bit gray, but a little bit purple. So it's not like a boring basic bitch pink. I like it a lot. So 100% keeping. I think this is my second or third tube of this stuff. Great formula. Absolutely love it. Second of my all-time favorite lipsticks that I have not only one of, but two of because it's just so great and I'm almost out is the Milani matte lipstick in 61. That's almost exactly the same but not quite. They're uh they're a little bit of a different color. This one has different undertones. They have different packages. I need two obviously. Another one extraordinarily similar to that is my Annabelle shiny lipstick. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. That's like literally the exact same except it's like a sheer glossy kind of a thing. And it's very nice, very moisturizing, nice to layer on top of like a nude to make it look a little bit more, you know, Instagram baddie. I just, I love it. I think it's great. Wore it all winter. This is a, I don't know, liquid lipstick from e.l.f. that's in Blushing Rose that, oh. <laughs> Does not smell good. Such a nice color though, but like, okay, with the smell combined with that, this makes it feel like you were just like chugging a bottle of sand. It dries your lips out like you would not believe. I'm throwing this out. Also, I'm pretty sure it's very old, so. First casualty of war. This lipstick I think I might donate to a friend because it's the uh, L'Oreal Color Riche Matte Etude. Love this formula so much, but this color is very weird because it's like a gray undertone brown, and I only wore this lipstick with a very specific pair of pants. I just realized that I got rid of those pants. So we're gonna get rid of this lipstick, even though the formula is banging. Another nudie gloss is the NYX Lingerie Gloss in Butter, even though I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> Comedy. It's just, it's a nice glossy brown gloss. I mean, uh, do I? Yeah, sure, let's add it on top, why not? Nice and moisturizing, little color payoff, uh, award all summer, so we're gonna keep this one. This is the Sephora Cream Lip Stain in Tea Rose, and it's a very beautiful, I guess slightly more on the pink side, matte lipstick, <laughs> and I'm keeping this one, and it's different than this other one that's exactly the same, because this is a lipstick, and this is a liquid lipstick, okay? Get it straight. One that I think I'm going to get rid of, though, for a number of reasons. A, because it's Kat Von D. B, because it's extraordinarily old. And C, because it's this kind of like reddy color that uh, I don't really need. This is the, I don't know, Kat Von D liquid lipstick in Lolita, which used to be one of my favorites, but I'm just not excited about it anymore. So I'll see if a friend wants it. Now I know fall has passed and this is the proper time for me to wear this like deep brown, 
like graveyard dirt type of shade. Alas, I did not do that. Uh, but this is the NYX Liquid Suede Lip Cream in Brooklyn Thorn. So, you know, we're just gonna keep it for next fall. That's fine. These things don't expire. I know it's bad, and I know I should probably toss things out that are, like, over six months old, but you know what? I don't ever throw lipstick out unless it feels bad. So... It's fine. I haven't contracted anything yet. This is a nice light brown liquid lipstick that dries down to like a peachy brown almost. Very odd, but great formula. This is by Celeste and it's their matte liquid lipstick in peanut brittle. So this will be good for spring, I think. Oh, found another lip balm. This is great. Notoriously morbid. Love their stuff. This is a brown I'm not sure about. It is another NYX product in Simply Vamp Lip Cream and this is in the color Enamored. And it's very lovely because I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera. Well, you can see it in the tube better. It's like bronze and gold and oh, it's so pretty. And it's such a nice formula. But I don't think I've worn this in like a year. So I should throw it in the garbage. But I'm going to give it to a friend because I think it would look better on her. So she could throw it in the garbage. She so decides. I guess we're just going to cover the whole hand. And then do I work down? Should I just not wipe anything off? I'm not gonna wipe anything off. We're just gonna go all the way down my arm and we'll see how many lipsticks I have. This isn't technically a nude, but uh, it's like a purpley color. And to me, that's nude enough. So this is my ultimate favorite liquid lipstick. It's the Too Faced Melt Matte in the color Granny Panty. And y'all have seen me wear this a million times. I love it so much. It's a great formula, beautiful, like dusty purple color. So keeping this. What I don't think I'll keep is this Lime Crime lipstick. Uh, in the color Faded. It's very beautiful and probably give this to a friend, but it's very pink and I don't usually, oh that was a big swatch and better not do this upside down anymore. It's just more on the pink side. I don't really wear pink. I think this is the pinkest of all of my lipsticks. So that's going to get donated. Where did I put the donate pile? Donate pile. Also another thing I own a lot of are these adorable little minis because one of my friends loves to give me lipstick. God bless her. Uh, so whenever she buys stuff, she gets me samples. Um, and one of them is a nudie color, so let's add this. This is from Notoriously Morbid, and it is in the color Soothsayer. Why have I not worn that? That's great. I love that brown. Do I have any more browns? Maybe? Is this what I think? Nope, that's not what I think it is. Is this what I think it is? This is what I think it is. This is a Kat Von D studded liquid- nope. Just studded lipstick. Another nice neutral brown shade. <laughs> Aha, uh -huh, God, what do I do with this? Do I keep it? I don't need it at all, but it's like brand new. It's a really nice formula. It's in the color Sanctuary. Everything is just hitting all the right buttons. It's checking all the right things on the list. Actually, I think I want to put that on. You know, it's really nice, but it's kind of streaky. Maybe I'll give it to a friend. See if they want it. They can work with that. Wow, you don't know what kind of video you clicked on. This is a declutter. This is a review. This is a swatch video. Just a three in one for all of you viewers tonight. All right, what do I move on to now? Do I do weird stuff? Let's say weird for last. I think that'll be fun. Let's go with um some like orangey bronze stuff. Yeah, we can move that from, from browns. This one is from Lime Crime. It's separating. This is the liquid velveteens in Lana. Oh my god, bitch. Oh, I would look like a Roman goddess in this. Okay, I know it's separating, but we're just gonna like... Okay, it's fine. We're good to go. Everyone's gonna sound off at me in the comments being like, you're nasty. And you know what? I know. Everyone, I want to look like a pumpkin spice bitch around the holidays. And by holidays, I mean the one and only holiday that is Halloween. I have a bright, bright orange gloss. Like, woo. Pumpkin spice, but the orangey color that I'm not going to keep is this. It's by Joe Fresh. It's a really nice, like, balmy lipstick thing. I think this is in cherry. This is more red than I thought it was, but it's just too neon for me. Every time I wear it, I just look like a toddler that, like, ate a, a freezy in one of the kinds that, like, its name is the color, you know? So it's, like, red. And you're like, oh yeah, I know the flavor red. And this isn't brown, but I don't know where else to put this, so we're just gonna put it in here. This is something I'm going to pass on. It's an Essence Melted Chrome Liquid Lipstick, and it's just too metallic and bright for me to use as anything. I tried to use it as a topper, and it's just not having it, but oh my god! Oh, I think I just ascended into heaven looking at that swatch. Like, look at it! Oh, it's so metallic and pretty! But on me, it looks like I'm a very sickly misarthium angel. So, if you know that reference, I love you dearly. Should I move on to purples? 
Yeah, let's do it. This amount of purple lipstick is not normal for one human who is not a makeup artist to own. That's too much. Oh, I forgot one too. Oh, I forgot two. See? First up is from a brand that I always want to call Llama-esque, which I know is wrong. I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Elamask. But you know what? Me and Llama-esque over here have a great old time. And this is in the color ESP, which is, if I remember, a bang and electric purple. Ooh, wow, look at that. Now the thing with that color is that it's too bright for me. Like, I don't go to raves, so I don't really need that. Uh, but I do like this kind of dusty purple, darker color that I have by them in the color Control with a K, because ooh, we hashtag edgy. Probably donate ESP to somebody, but we're keeping Control, which now that I think about it, might be almost exactly the same as this NYX one. I don't know. See? It's good we clean this out. I don't even know what I have. This is a NYX suede matte lipstick in Moonwalk, which is another dusty purple, which is different. But you know what? It's almost the same as Granny Panty. Damn it, this is new too. And it looks, it's still, it's not expired. It's still creamy. Maybe I'll give this to another friend who also likes purple lipstick. One that I'm definitely getting rid of because it smells atrocious is the Lime Crime in Seashell Bra, which is a really, ew. I don't even want to swatch this. Okay, we're not going to swatch it. It's nasty. It's a really cool metallic purple that may be like mermaid wallpaper, but uh, I just, it's no, it's it's very expired to a point that I can't ignore it any longer. So that's it's pure trash. This purple is Love Out Loud by NYX in the color Brave, which I think is another warm purpley color. So, oh, hello. Where did you come from? Where did you come from? All right, that's kind of a really nice color, but is it better than Bitchcraft? I love Notoriously Morbid's name so much. Okay, we're gonna, uh, well, we're gonna, un underneath? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Ooh, oh my, hmm, baby. Ooh, it is a close race, but I think we're going to keep Bitchcraft, if nothing else, purely for the name. This is a weird one. This is in the color Coven by Kat Von D, and it's a really nice lilac but not on me. <laughs> like, it looks like I just made up with a glow worm, but like, not in a sexy way. Like a, you should know better type of way. I gotta wipe this off before I get mistaken as a Scott Pilgrim character. Then there's one that I really, really hope we don't have to throw out because I spent so much freaking money on it. And that was uh, the Lime Crime Diamond Crusher Lip Topper, which is probably one of the most useless things to ever be produced. No, blush topper. That is the most ridiculous thing to ever be produced at me. I mostly bought this because it's called Gemini, which is my birth sign. So I was like, it was meant to be. I must spend $30 on it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, it's crumbling and it's chunky. Oh, damn it. That definitely has to go in the trash. Oh, but that, oh, but that flashback though. I can no longer ignore the fact that this has gone bad. We're gonna, we're gonna toss that. Ew. Damn, so much money. I have one more sort of purpley thing that smells surprisingly delightful, which is suspicious. This is from Essence. It's their Hollow Wow Lip Shine. And this is another kind of metallic-y, sparkly gloss in the color Scarab Wing. It, it's all right. I mean, I guess not good enough to keep just just whatever. Oh, and then the color to end all colors that I've had for at least three years is the MAC lipstick in the color Royal Hour because bitch, we bang it. It's gonna scribble like all over my arm. Like, oh my God. Oh my God, it's so pretty. I'm gonna start crying. I'm so hormonal, oh my Lord. Ooh, the shine. I can't get rid of it, I can't. Oh, it's so pretty. No idea where I'm gonna wear it, but you know, you never know. We're keeping that. If I ever need to look like a dark fairy queen, which occasionally I do, it's gonna be with this lipstick. This was my OG favorite blue lipstick. It's the Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick in Echo. And it, oh, still very smooth, my love. We got this nice deep blue color. However, this is when we move into all of the littles that, oh, there goes one. Notoriously Morbid is great with their lipsticks. This one is called Nocturnal Mistress, and it's another dusty blue, a bit different than the dark one. But do I need two? 
is the question. As much as I want to keep both, I think I'm going to uh, give away my Kat Von D one, even though there's probably more in this, just because I don't wear blue too often now, and it's more of a purpley blue. I don't know how much you're gonna be able to see that. It's more of a purple blue, and this is more of like a blue blue. So I think we're gonna keep the tiny one. Oh, underwater thing. Please. Why? Oh, oh, definitely have to throw this one out. But it's so cool. What a nice shade. I mean, yes, it'll look like I just made out with something from the swamp, but you know what? Sometimes that's a look. Unfortunately, that is too separated to pretend uh, that it's okay to keep, so that's gonna be going. Now, I do not need a green lipstick, except for one time that I wore it on YouTube and one time I wore it to a Halloween party where I dressed as a Slytherin. I've never needed a green lipstick in my life. Has that stopped me from keeping it for more than is probably, like, legally healthy? No. Pretty sure my mom gave this to me, uh, and even then it was old, but the formula is still very nice and creamy. It smells okay? Uh, no, Rachel, no. You should throw this out. Like, it's, it's practically a health hazard from how long I've had this. In case anyone's wondering, the NYX Wicked Lippy, great formula. And there's something that I've worn approximately twice, and I feel like I knew that when I bought it. Like, there's no way that I'm gonna be wearing metallic blue NYX Cosmic Metals lip gloss uh, any time. Like, in my regular life, I don't go to raves, I don't go to parties, I don't cosplay as, you know, mermaid serial killers. I don't know. Oh god, it's so stunning though. See, the problem with this is that it's so beautiful, and also it's a gloss. And I feel like with a color like that, you want to keep it within a certain frame of your face, you know? But this just likes to migrate everywhere. So it sort of looks like you just mashed your face into a mermaid, and it's, mm, no. Another raving type lipstick that I probably will never wear is called 13 Black Rainbows by Notoriously Morbid. And the last time I wore this, I was in love. Oh no, the little, the little doe foot applicator came off in the bottle. Oh, that can't be healthy. That's probably a health hazard eventually. I don't know if you can see it, but I think some of the glitter is gone or something. Oh, it's lost its magic. Alas, into the trash bag you go. This is another Notoriously Morbid lipstick, and I remember the last time I swatched it, it didn't have any glitter, even though it's a glittery lipstick. Well, that is just straight up black. Okay. Considering this is supposed to have glitter in it, it's called Loving the Dead. I'm kind of mad, so that's probably old too. I don't need that. I also have two other black lipsticks, so let's do a comparison. Considering this just came out in a giant lump, Probably gonna get rid of this. Yeah, it's kind of swatching a little clumpy too. That's gross. All right, well, there are my two black lipsticks. Um, this is in the color Rune by Notoriously Morbid. Actually a great lipstick. I love their mattes. They're fantastic, but this one I guess is a little old. And then we have my go-to, which is the NYX Liquid Suede Lip Cream Lipstick in the color Alien, which I use a lot in book photos. Ooh, it's so smooth and dark. Gas, let me be a demon. We're keeping some alien. Oh, balls. I forgot a blue one. It's just such nice packaging. That's probably why I didn't see it. This is a Fenty lipstick in, uh, what color is this? Why do you make a lip clap back? Eh. All right, all right. Oh, beach, oh, beach. Ooh, that's nice. That is a nice deep blue, dusty blue. Do I like this one better or do I like this one better? I'm gonna keep both because this was a gift and it was probably really expensive. So guess I have two blue lipsticks now. And then I have uh, a clear, just plain old no color lip liner, universal. And then I have a lip liner and it's in red and it's a MAC one in brick. And then I forgot that I have this gloss that I guess we're just going to talk about now. It's the Essence Shine 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 Wet L Lip Gloss that makes every lip color just, oh, it's so nice. It just looks so juicy and shiny. It's friggin' banging is what it is, and I'm almost out, so. If that, if the amount of lip color I have shows you how much lip color that I buy and don't use, and this is used until, like, here, you know it's good. Lastly are the reds, which I have more than I should, but not too many. My all-time favorite red lipstick is by NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment in Star Woman. I'm not gonna swatch this because this will stain my arm for the next four days. It is such a beautiful color, 
but uh, I just, I can't. But it's such a good formula. It dries down. It's not sticky. It doesn't smear all over your face. It sticks to your mouth. Um, but uh, you can eat with it. You can drink. I love this stuff so much. But I can't put it on right now because then I'll have red lips for like three days. And the red lipstick that I actually based this whole thing on is because one I just bought is this one by NYC Color City Proof Twistable Intense Lip Color in the color Roosevelt Island Red. I feel like I don't get this reference because I'm Canadian. This is not at all the color that I wanted when I picked this up, but I love this color. I love the look of like this kind of muted red with my new haircut. Loving it. Might as well just put it on the arm. Might as well. See, nice and sheer, nice and balmy. A plus NYC. This is like four dollars. Just good job. One that I'm sort of on the fence of keeping is another Notoriously Morbid. This one called Relax. It's only magic. I think I will end up keeping this one just because it's so unique. It's like a red, but it has blue and pink sparkle in it. It's very odd. It's very cool. Um, yeah, nice and metallic. It's like sort of a gloss, sort of a lipstick. I don't know. I wear it a lot during the holidays, so just gonna sneak that into the keep pile as well, I think. However, what I'm gonna get rid of is the ColourPop one that I had for so long. The label's worn off of. Ooh, that doesn't, that doesn't sound good. It's in the color Saigon. This is another one I'm gonna, oh god, I'm gonna regret swatching this because it does not come off, which is why I'm getting rid of it. Very bright cherry red which when I wear a red lipstick, I don't usually go so obnoxiously bright. And then also, it just dries the fuck out of your mouth. So then you just have this like crusty, red, powdery lip after like four hours. So it's not really my thing. Last two. I don't think I'm gonna keep both of them. I'm gonna definitely keep this one though. This is the NYX Liquid Suede Lipsticks. What? It's a good formula. This is a metallic matte and it's in the color Biker Babe and I've worn it in so many of my videos. So it's pretty old, but still smells fine. Oh, did I just get that in my nose ring? Red, metallic, that's almost the same as that one, but not quite, shh, it's fine. Just a nice holiday color, you know. I wear it to parties a lot when I need a good solid red lip, so we're gonna keep that one. I think I'm gonna get rid of this Kat Von D one, which is fine, I don't even like Kat Von D that much. This is a very nice, deep, kind of vampire red from her liquid lip line. Let's see in this color. Oh, it's in the color Nosfera too. Very? very accurate. Even though this is a pretty blue tone, it doesn't look like that when you swatch it. So I think this is going to uh, get donated to somebody. 43 lip colors. Maybe I didn't get like one or two, but I don't need that much lipstick. In this time, we have narrowed down 40 whatever the amount I said lipsticks into 20 lipsticks, which is still way too much. But a lot more doable and in colors that I actually wear on a regular basis so I can actually start wearing and using all the lipstick I have instead of constantly buying new ones. <sighs> 2020 is the year where I start wearing my crap. I have so much makeup, a lot less now. I did, I did downsize quite considerably, but I need to start wearing the stuff I have, you know? I did it with clothing, now I've started doing it with makeup. So thanks for sitting on my floor with me for a little while while I had a minor existential crisis. It happens regularly, you know. Can't life crises come from like a two for one deal? Like if I had a punch card for life crises, like I would at least have one free smoothie by this point. I hope everybody had a nice New Year's and is gonna be, you know, set for January with whatever life plans that brings you. Be it school, like me, be that like work, like me, be that like a new place, like hopefully me. Be that just small goals to like drink more water and declutter what you don't need in your life, including friends, take care of yourself, all that motivational jazz. <laughs> I feel like I want to tell people that, but I'm also too tired to do it properly. So I don't know what's coming out of my mouth right now. I think I need to go to bed. See, look what I told you. Look what I told you about that freaking color. It's never going to come off. Oh, I'm gonna have to take a wild shower tonight. You know where I click to like the video, you know where I click to subscribe. I hope you guys are all having a nice day or night, wherever you are, and I will see you all next week. Bye!